Hey folks, Dono here with MasterFlash.net. Getting ready to bring you a fantastic Ubercart product template tutorial. And uh, what I need to do is I need to catch you up with, with what I've done so far, um, which was really just a spare time. So what you're looking at is a fresh install of the most recent version of Drupal. And of course, I've got all the uh, modules set up that I need set up. Uh, for example, I'm, a, I'm assuming that you already have Drupal installed and Ubercart with all the dependencies that Ubercart re requires. And the only additional item that I've put in here is this admin menu, which of course helps us you know, move throughout the site faster. On top of that, what I've done is I've installed an underlying theme that I'm going to be using, which is based off of the uh, masterflash.net theme. So here's the scoop with that. If you don't have a custom theme, don't sweat it. This works the exact same way as it would work inside of the Garland theme or whatever theme you're working with. All right, and of course, I'm going to show you how we create the uh, you know, node-products.tpl.php as well as uh, creating the templates for our custom product classes and we'll get into that. So uh, I need to catch you up with what I've done here on this install. So looking through the menu up here at the top, basically I've got three different products set up. As you can see I've got four images set up in here, okay, and uh, I am using Thickbox for this and I'm also going to show you how to uh, you know, create our templates to work with Thickbox as well. So of course if we just click through here, it's going to go through all of them. And then on the last one, it's going to close. Alright, so basic description, skew. Alright, this is the underlying template that Ubercart provides us with in order to display products. All right, and I've got the uh, same products set up across here. And as, you're, as you can see, I've got taxonomy set up in here. Just real basic taxonomy because I'm trying to figure out a solid way for us to display products in the feeds as well. And that's kind of important because I'm going to show you a way to get around what shows up in a teaser in your template. And then, of course, all the data that shows up in the product page itself. Because it is two separate entities, or it's one, but I'm going to show you how to divide it into two separate entities uh, with a basic if statement for controlling the content, uh, what shows in teasers, what doesn't. Uh, so I've got that set up. Um, what I also have set up, which is somewhat important, you know, hopefully you're doing this on a test site. So what I've done is I've gone into store, I've gone into product to manage classes, and I've created three classes of products, dog collars, dog houses, dog bones. And what I've done is each one of these products right here, for example, the dog bones is a product created from the product class of all dog bones, dog collars, collars, dog houses, dog houses in here. All right, now we could create a basic product and I could show you, but the result is all the same. The idea of this tutorial is to teach you how to manage your content through specific templates. Meaning, if I have dog collars right here, well, I can set up a template specifically for dog collars. If I have houses, I can set up a template specifically for dog houses, and etc. What this allows us to do is it allows us to create pre-configured templates for specific product classes, allowing us to make you know each product that sits under a different category unique.